Hey everyone, you're joining me for Deep Elf Wizard Part 12 with Ultraviolet 4. We've just managed to acquire our third rune. It wasn't easily acquired, that third one. Um, I accidentally moved off the stair in slime and got paralyzed and nearly died. So I'll be doing my best in this one to press the correct keys. No, like, accidental presses. Well, we'll see. So we're going to be heading into Zot. There's a couple of things to upkeep. The first is that I see that my HP is one off max. Um, I'm glad they've fixed it so that this no longer goes over two lines, but um, I'm still a bit triggered. We have a lot of curing, so we'll just fix that. Um, imagine if you died like that <laughs> by one HP. It would be pretty, pretty bad. Anyway, uh, some other things. I'm going to enchant armor my boots and the buckler actually. We'll just get the maximum um, strength that we can get, as in in terms of AC and shield, before we go into Zot. Um, I'm going to switch back to my R poison MR ring rather than resist corrosion. It means we're going into Zot with three points of MR. Um, that's still not quite enough to be. 100% um, guaranteed, well not 100% but basically guaranteed that you won't be Ancient Lich paralyzed or Panlord paralyzed but 3 will do the trick most of the time. Um, let's see, um, I'll just check my shopping list. Uh, we have a lot of teleport, I think I have a lot of magic mapping. 18 teleport, 7 magic mapping when there are 5 zot floors, so that's fine. Uh, 1 scroll of recharging. We have a lot of digging. Uh, well, the acid could always use more, I guess. Okay, so where is that recharging? It's in vaults. I actually couldn't be bothered walking there. <laughs> as sad as that is. Um, I don't think we're going to need the recharging. Now that I've just done the acid and we've got 20 digging, should be fine. And lastly, just before I go in, I'm going to find a scroll of noise. Zero matches, only useless items found. Well, that's what you think, game. Uh, because I can think of some uses, and we're maybe going to see them. Um, okay, well, sure, let's go to Vaults 4. We'll grab those two for 28 gold. And we'll pick up the recharging at the same time. Alright, peace. There we go. Um, I could be making some allies to take with me. But it's easier to do that near, near Zot rather than making them here and then having to walk them the whole way. So grab that recharging. While I'm here, I may as well grab the teleports. And I'll grab the two noise. We'll just go nuts. Let's just get everything. Give me all your things. Okay. Alright, and then let's go into Zot. Feeling very hungry. Uh, free party. That's a Titan Skeleton, that's why he hits so hard. It's like... Yeah, there's something good on there. Throw down the Freezing Cloud. He stepped on the Zot Trap, which was uh, a bit scary. And, yeah, why not? Make a couple of mushrooms here. Two should be fine. And I just checked my spells, because I... Just kind of forgotten <laughs> what's, what I've got with this character. Okay. So I believe we're training charms to get deflect missiles castable in the middle of battle. And then we're also doing our defensive skills. Yeah. I could turn armor off here. I think I'd like to get to 15, mostly because it's a nicer number. But um, 14 armor would be plenty.
here. Uh, not hell. Please not hell. <laughs> All right, here we go. Into Zot. Um, I want to regen before I go down, just in case there's immediately a Draconian pack, which there is. So there we go. Uh, I really want to get the Moth of Wrath immediately before it zerks them all. Good. And these guys are also all vulnerable to cold. Uh, well, they're not vulnerable, but it slows them. Uh, except for the cold ones, that's not true of them. Um, I'd like to go up though, because this is getting... Okay, but they didn't come. Uh, that's getting a bit crazy. I'm going to tell my mushrooms to wait here. I'm going to regen. And I'm going to step pull them up. I should probably also put my RLEC ring on against the black one. Good. Um, he does elect damage, so... I mean, if that weren't... If the reasoning there wasn't obvious. And we're gonna use Bolt of Cold. Okay, let's protect it from missiles. That's a lot of Draconians. That's a pretty, pretty tough welcome to Zot. I'm near starving. Wait again. Okay. Alright, last guy. Dodging to 16. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we're picking up glowing cloaks. I mean, I can look at it, but um, it's not going to be better than a scarf of resistance, almost certainly. Go. Uh, I'm in a magic map, which shows me uh, a very crazy looking floor that it looks like we have to do, unless we want to take a hatch. Okay, so hopefully that's not too insane. If it is, I can always use some Oclobs to help to um, take it down. Alright, so I want to do that last. How do I do that? The entrance is in here. I will X that and on this side. So we'll X both of those and we'll explore the rest of the level first. Ooh, more fruit. Another three, okay. So we've now got 21 Oclobs we can make. It's a lot of Oclobs. Uh, there's an electric golem. We've got the Aralek on still, I think. Yeah, okay, good. How hexable are they? Magic immune, okay. <laughs> well, that answers that question. Um, I'll put a freezing cloud down for the draconians. Alright, there we go, good. And then, oh no, we didn't get him. He blinked away. I thought we killed him. He is resistant to cold, but not very or immune. Um, yeah, there we go. Charms to seven. Ah, oh, right, my deflect missiles has run out, so that's something I want to go get as well. Um, I'm just gonna hit him with Agar a bit. Am I? Uh, no. It doesn't. Okay, let's learn our lesson and not um, not melee things when we're on low HP. There we go. I'm gonna go back to the step to heal. Good. All right, Shadow Dragon. Uh, and shoot some orbs of destruction at him. Good. And uh, make a second mushroom. Yellow Draconian Knight. Okay. Uh, he's gonna get wrecked by cold, just as effectively as the other Draconians. Uh, a Death Cob. Uh, why are you? Fighting me. Unless this has very recently been changed, death cobs are usually neutral because they're plants. Is he actually fighting me? Yeah, he is. Okay. I wonder if this is a new change. For a second, when he didn't go neutral, I thought uh, maybe I was under Fetus penalty. Okay. Well, death cobs. I don't know why, but death cobs are normally neutral, so I don't know what his problem was. 
And you can see as well, as we have a 73% chance even just to hex these regular Draconians as well. Good. Yeah, come on, guy. Come fight me. Okay. Well, they all went down. Uh, this guy's now hasted and trying to kill me. Um, I can try to hex him. There we go. The hasted knight is way more scary than the standard green one. Got him. Yeah. Uh, another mushroom. Now that we have mana, he's fine. Also, we can just hex him again. And I can be using Spire as well. It's useful here. So I kind of forgot about it for a while there, which is odd, because Spire is not normally something I forget about. New amulet, will ID that. An amulet of harm, no thank you. Also the glowing, glowing cloak, there's not really much point. Feeling our power leaking away. All right. Uh, we can throw a short-ranged orb at him, but it didn't do that much damage. All right. Oh, we got confused. Sweet. Thank you, Mushroom. That's why they're still useful here. Uh, Gold Dragon, same thing about orbs, orbs of Destruction. Yeah, the Death Corps are no longer neutral. What happened? You can see, they're made of maize. They're plants. What happened? Okay. Alright. Uh, the Moth of Wrath, if he berserks that one Draconian, that's fine. It's not a whole pack. Oh, there's another guy. I confused him. This is really odd, because that's one of the, the bonuses of Fedas, is that you don't usually have to fight Death Cobs. Huh. Good. Very odd. Still got, yeah, RLX still on. I should be taking that off. Ah, uh, this looks like it's in... No? That's not the main room. Uh, there's a spy here, which is... Uh, telling me this is some sort of elect themed vault, maybe. Yeah. With all these elect golems as well. Good. So I guess we will keep our, our elect ring on. Man, that guy was tanky. Uh, enchant weapon scrolls, there's really no point. You can just drop those. Oh wait, there is a point. What's that demon blade? Uh, cause we have a trove. It's asking for a... I don't remember, but with these three we have seven. I think it might be plus seven. Let's go get that demon blade. Um, if I can find it. Oh, the demon whip. We're starving. We're running out of food too. That's okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. So we go see what that trove is. I think it's plus seven. Uh, this is a bit of a worry. Ah, that's alright. Um, I shouldn't be trying to. Ah, uh, that weapon. Hit that guy with the icicles because he has deflect missiles. And actually, I keep forgetting myself, I have deflect missiles. Uh, it's 20% to fail in red, so I think I'll just remove my... Let's take off my armor. It becomes 6 in yellow. Yeah, so we'll use it. There we go. And we'll put it back on. Um, all this training for deflect missiles, if I then never remember to use it, is no good. Alright, here we go. So it's after our oh, plus 8, so we need one more. Well, I'll enchant weapon it so that I remember 
what's going on, rather than just discarding them all, like, yeah, chat weapon scrolls, no uses for those anymore. Alright, here we go, more draconians. Put down a preemptive, uh, not on our spire though, preemptive freezing cloud. Uh, no we can't, unless we hit the spire. It's alright. Good. Um, I should be chopping these when I can, because our food situation isn't amazing. Uh, we blundered into a Zot trap and we got silenced. Okay. Well, I'm glad we didn't get abyssed. Uh, traps. Very fun and exciting. Man, it's still every time I see one of these death cobs, I don't understand. We used to be friends. Alright, well we've wandered into this vault even though I tried to X them out. Looks like there are maybe, yeah, there are four exits. So we actually only X'd half of them. Alright. Um, the Quicksilver Dragon's really fast. But he's being blocked by the tentacle monstrosity. I want to see. He doesn't appear to be resistant to a lek. So I can maybe just put a spy down and then just sort of wait this out. I'm going to regen as well. This appears to mostly work. Yeah, okay. I'll just throw a bolt of cord out. Yeah. There's your, your Quicksilver Dragon Scales if you were really lacking in MR. Yeah, wait the flesh. Okay, let's get out of here and let's do, as I was planning, we'll do the rest of the floor first. Chance to 9. Deflect Missiles is at 17. Uh, we probably don't need that much more. And I'm now, I'm now scared about this one because my whole fed ass thing doesn't make sense anymore. So, uh, what happens with the Cursed Toe usually, with Fedas, is that when it summons mushrooms on you, the mushrooms turn neutral, because again, they're plants. Um, I don't know what to believe anymore. I'm going to throw an orb out, and then I'm going to dig into the wall. Uh, another one. That should actually kill it. Okay. Okay. So we didn't get to find out. So we're not... We're not sure about that behavior yet. Um, confuse the Moth of Wrath. Okay, we lost our Repel Missiles again. Oh, we can't eat the green ones? Okay, interesting. Uh, when they're starving. Um, I'll wait and see if I can get a corpse though. Uh, Storm Dragon. Right as I take my Arlek ring off. <laughs> uh, that one. What's. Yeah, you can't really hex those guys. They're pretty strong. Yeah, we've got him. Uh, no, f no corpse though, so we need to eat. Down to one last bread ration. Let's do our deflect missiles. Which we got. Death cops, why? Used to be friends. Used to be friends. More drink green draconians. Alright, a whole bunch of them. So the ones that we can't eat basically. Um, I'm gonna put down a spire. I think these guys are are uh, resistant to a lek. Yeah they are. So it's not going to do heaps, but uh, it will still help. And then I'll melee it. After saying a bunch of times that I'm not going to melee dangerous monsters, at least in that in that case I wasn't at low HP. So I guess that's okay. All right, Shift X, Control E to remove the exclusions, and then let's let's find out what nice things are lurking in here. At least we can eat red draconians. And storm dragon. I stepped around that corner because I wanna 
I wanted to throw Orbit Destruction at him. And those tend to go a bit wonky around corners. So if I shot it from this tile, it could just slam into the wall in front of me. Good. Um, yeah, I'll put down a Freezing Cloud. That guy just got berserked. Uh, we can't hex him either because the purple ones have extra MR. It looks like this room was just where all the Draconians were coming from. And then Moss of Wrath. Yeah. Uh, we want to freeze and clad them both. Alright, we're out of mana. We've got a few more coming. Um, I have four potions of magic, but I'm not really afraid of these guys that much. Could acid them. Could also make a box of beasts. We have three of these. Let's see if our box of beasts can fight them. Looks like it can. Go box of beasts. <laughs> Alright. Well, it gave us enough mana, so we can... Did it really? Yeah. We can hex him and then... Give him the... The Arga. Although I don't really want to Arga a tentacled monstrosity from full HP. What if I just, uh, I just walk all the way back to the stairs. I'll go out, I'll get my mana back. And then we'll go for round two. If I can get up the stairs, yeah, I'll blink away. And then just use the shards of ice. This guy really is tricky. Alright, here we go again. The storm dragons. This place is crazy. Um, I'll put the freezing cloud down. It's not going to do anything to the cold guy, but it will get the yellow knight, who's the more dangerous one anyway. Feel less protected from missiles. Alright. I will recast that. I feel like every single. Oh, there's an orbit fire. Did it see me? It didn't. I feel like every single uh, tile in that room must have been a draconian, basically. Yep. Okay, we reached level 26. Where's our armor? It's almost at 15. Um, that's really not a great place to fight an orbit fire. Hmm. How many haste do I have? Not a million. Four. Yeah, so I really don't want to be using them here. Um, if I can yell. If I can get him at the end of a corridor like this, where I can over destruction down the corridor. I can probably kill him that way. Because uh, this, this isn't a great place for putting down Oclobs either, because uh, it's this one tile hallway like this. Eh, I could. Maybe. Could I put down two around me? Because they can shoot through each other, so this actually might work fine. Let's see. Yeah, okay, let's put two down. And then we'll evolve those. Okay. So now it's... Now this orb of fire isn't quite as scary. Uh, I want to eat that guy if I can. <laughs> Man, uh, we cannot. I know you're in there, Orb of Fire. Uh, the yellow guy, of course, is the, um, the acid one, so he doesn't get, he doesn't really get hurt by the, the Oclubs. Which is also coincidentally why there's not much point using Oclobs in um, the slime pits. I mean, some of them you can get, but uh, the jellies are all... Here we go. Alright, we have full RF, so it's not that scary. I need to get behind the Oclobs so they can actually do something. Alright, well that worked. 
Two oak lobes got the orb of fire. And this room's still going. Alright, back to our, our oak lobes. I was expecting the first one to die, but it didn't. Interesting. Yeah. What is this vault? Is every single tile in there? Was it just a... A draconian? Feels like it was. We've got more things. Uh, I need our elect on. Jeez, that's why I'm taking so much damage. Oh yeah. I'm into 15. Turn that off. Lek golems hurt with our elect. Without our elect, uh, they definitely hurt. Charms to 11. That puts our deflect missiles at 12%. I feel like that's probably good enough. Uh, we have a plus 4 aptitude. Why not? We'll just we'll keep it going. If I had to use it in a fight, come on guy, 73% chance, and you resisted three of them. Oh, more fruit. Yeah, so we almost got our, our fruit back from that little oclob farm that we made in there. We missed starving again. Hmm. We're not going to run out of food. And it's freezing cloud again. Out of magic. Um, why don't I just put another Oclob down just to deal with this? Um, I want it to be behind me though. I don't know if it's random as where where it wants to put it or the front one is always to your top left. Might be. Anyway, we'll make that club. We'll pull out our Argo. And then we'll just tab them. Alright, we got there. And we've got a whole bunch of corpses too, so we can eat back to full. Alright. This floor is a bit a bit nuts. Welcome to Zot, it's really hard. <laughs> Alright. So let's magic map this one. Uh, this one looks like we got crazy stuff going on again. So we got some sort of a... A red and blue thing going on down there. Alright. So let's get ready for some more crazy vaults. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, it's getting a bit crazy. I can put down a freezing cloud and then, oh, okay, never mind, we're leaving. Confuse him. And then just, oh man, he's confusedly stepping on the Zot trap though. Man. Uh, Alright, never mind, he's back. And again, stepping on the Zot trap. Uh, Zot traps. Fun and exciting. Uh, here's a pressure plate. It puts down a, a grate like this. Can we pass wall through it? What's my pass wall? G. No, it's not a passable wall. Alright, well, we'll just dig it out. That's fine. I could just go down here. I'm actually a little bit tempted just to skip this floor. Yeah, alright, let's do it. Uh, we'll map again. I should go back up though, uh, except I can't. So I'm being constricted. The spider help me. Good. And we'll go back down. Alright. So, we ran out of mana against him. Were we just missing those shards, or they just weren't doing anything? Because we fired about five at him, I feel like. Not sure. No, they were hitting him. They just weren't killing him. Okay, so this is a very tanky ghost moth that, yeah, tanks through about five ice shards. Still got Aralek on. And we are again near starving. But we got a corpse, so never mind, we're all good. This floor, 
Um, that looks like a bit of a vault. We've got stairs up, um, near us, but not down. Could head towards that one. Could just dive this, basically. This might be the play, <coughs> considering our food situation. Um, I can dig through this wall. Oh, hello dragons. All the destruction here. Okay. Right, because we got dispelled. Ooh. Let's see. We're near the stairs, so we can always go back up. Let's see. Yeah, see they turn neutral. That's how that's how it's supposed to work with the um the corn cobs. Alright. I could turn spell casting on two. The only spell I've got though that's really got what well, really the only spell with any spell hunger at all is over destruction. So I guess training spell casting just for the hunger cost on that is not really worth it. We're not using over destruction that much anyway. Okay, good. I stepped around that corner so that um the Moth of Wrath wouldn't be able to see me and berserk the Quicksilver Dragon. Good. Thought I got a corpse there. I did. Alright, lead back to Hungary. Let's keep diving. Uh, magic map again. Got a whole bunch of stuff coming. Let's go back up and confuse him. And again. Good. Um, I'm not sure if I want to go down this stair now. I've got uh, a couple of Quicksilver Dragons, a Moth of Wrath. I'll regen first. I think it's okay. Okay. Yeah. We got the Moths on their own, so that's fine. Uh, <laughs> we got Zerked. With Berserk now, you can switch weapons. You didn't used to be able to. Previously, we would have then had to fight with our stuff. Um, okay, well, we're no longer slowed, so this is okay. Preemptively put a freezing cloud down. And the one that comes out first, of course, is the, the cold resistant one. Confuse him. Yeah, good. Don't accidentally go up the stair, we don't know. I'm going to X that out too. Actually, that's really annoying because then I can't walk on the tile. And also, my deflector missiles, yeah. Every time I get dispelled, I've got to remember to reapply my repel missiles. Alright, here we go again. Um, like that. So we lost it. Uh, we're getting destroyed by this death cop. Uh, we confused him. Let's step away. Okay, the, fortunately the confused death cob then hit the quicksilver dragon and slowed it. So that's good for us. Alright, and we'll just bolt of cold. Thank you death cob. It was almost like you were neutral. You weren't really, but you almost were. And deflect missiles again. Regen. I think we've... Uh, I was going to say, I think we've cleared most of the danger at this floor, but there's still a Draconian pack. Alright, well we'll take him up. It would be nice if I could eat the corpses down there. I'm not sure I can. we got one here. Alright, that's fine. More Draconians coming. Confuse him. Uh, except another one again. Ah, we just got. Come on, guy. It's resisting a lot too. Start resisting. Alright, regen. Confuse him. <clears throat> this. Death Cob thing is still really messing with me. 
Alright, well, let's grab this food. There we go. Four bread rations. We're never starving. He was worried. I certainly wasn't. Alright, we got a downstairs here. Um, I could clear this floor. This one doesn't look like there's any particular vault, so... Uh, probably doesn't hurt to clear. Yeah. More food. A whole bunch of IDs. There's a brief period in crawl time where uh, death corps were given a hunger attack where every time they hit you, it was basically torment for hunger. Your hunger got halved and um, they they were insane how, how much hunger they did. Like you weren't afraid of them in terms of their damage because they basically did none. You were afraid of starving to death. It was nutty. Um, so if that were the case in this one, uh, we would have been in a lot of trouble. Deflect missiles again. Um, they were so insane though. If you ever got uh, two at once, uh, they did so much damage. Uh, not damage, they did so much... I can't even think of words anymore. They did so much hunger that you couldn't even eat to outheal two of them and you would just starve. Good. Why are we hungry again? Oh, there's our enchant weapon. That gives us plus eight. All right, let's go do the trove. Uh, I'll clear this floor and then we'll go see. All right, and a royal jelly. Okay, good. So, trove. It's on depths two. All the destruction went right into the wall. So many draconians everywhere. Let's take this guy back up. Will we? Or we'll just get constricted for a while. I'll put down a spire. There we go. Alright, here's our trove. Uh, we've got 52 of 52 slots. Don't walk in like that, or else you won't be able to pick anything up. We'll just drop all our food. Yeah, okay. So we've got five slots now. Alright, I think we're unlikely to find five things that we want. And we're also losing the demon whip. Yep, okay. So what do we get? Uh, an ID leather armor I don't really care about. Let's see this scarf. Nope. Uh, the Robe of Folly <laughs> gives you two points of MR minus. Uh, no thank you. Some embroidered boots. That gives us plus two flying. Yeah, the ability to fly is uh, stronger than just our regular plus two boots. Um, they're also really cool looking white boots. I like that. Uh, plain Ice Dragon scales. A glowing buckler of ref reflection and a scale mail, which is probably again too heavy. Plus one scale mail, no good. Okay, so we basically got nothing in here. We got boots of flying, um, which is, troves can sometimes be disappointing, but that's okay. If Imagine if you cared about that sword and you traded a plus eight demon blade to get a pair of boots of flying. I'd be pretty mad, I don't know about you. Alright, so we're back to Zot 4. Shiny shield. Oh, I'm curious. Poison resistance. No. Um, and I probably want to... I always keep forgetting to put my magical power back on after we finish fighting or lack enemies. But it's something I should be doing. There's been a lot of tentacle monstrosities. Alright, so before we, we cleared, yeah. Okay, good. 
And the stair up that we want to go back up is this one. Yeah, okay. So the nearest downstairs is probably that one, if we dig a path to it. Alright, right, it's up 5. Let's magic map it. So, uh, we want to also X out the chamber. If I can find the entrance, there it is. Um, basically, in ZOT5, we want to use all our fruit. So we've got 38 fruit, which is 19 oclobs. Um, there's no, there's not much use for it after this. I mean, maybe you can keep some because you want to use it on the Auburn, but uh, this is your, this is your time. So I'm going to do maybe, we've got nine in total. Is that, no, we've got 18, right? I've already forgotten. I merely said it. We've got 19. Okay. So I'll make about three here. Three. We'll upgrade those. Okay. And then for this outside stuff, I'll try to pull them just back to these oclops. And then once we get into the chamber, we'll set up a new one. Uh, I want to make some noise here. Pull anything to me that is just sitting around this area. Doesn't seem like much. Seems like a fairly strange Zot5. Hmm. I could pass wall into here and see what's over there. Uh, it probably wasn't wise if there were, I don't know, like a bunch of ancient liches there or something. Uh, plate armor's too heavy. Can't use that. Yeah, what is this sub 5? It's really empty. Pass wall back through again. It's kind of creeping me out a bit how empty this is. Alright, we'll just auto explore. Plus 4. Nope. Where is everyone? Okay, well there's some Draconians. Um, I'm gonna dig back towards my Oclob farm. And then they can take care of this. Like that. Um, Fedus makes your Zot 5 pretty easy. I feel like we've had some pretty bad luck hexing those guys at 70% chance. Good. Monstrosity. Alright. Uh, I think he's the guy that has Hellfire. The Scorcher. Is he? He has. Well, Damnation now. Yeah, he does. Okay. So you need to be a bit wary of those guys. Good. The clubs are just firing at more stuff. <laughs> without me. Yeah, okay. So we've cleared all of this bit out. Shift X, Control U? No, Control E again to remove the floor. I was trying to forget it, but that wasn't right. Um, I'll make some noise here. It should wake up the Orb Guardians. It's not. Come on, guys. You should be in there. Hmm. Getting a really creepy vibe about this this sort five. Um, I'm gonna regen before I look around this corner. There they are. All right. Oclops, help! 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 Okay, good. I mean, I probably could have just bolt of coated them, but I have an oclob farm. Got to use it, right? Okay, and we're in the chamber here. So this is where uh, we really want the magic to happen. So I'm going to growth, um, start off with three, I guess. Upgrade them. And then I'm going to sort of spread more out. So we'll go another three here. It does seem like it's kind of random about uh, where they get placed around you. Yeah, like before it was bottom right, bottom left, and now it's above me. 
Oh, that's weird. Go three again. And that leaves us with another 14 fruit, which is still a million. So that's another seven. Maybe we'll put down two more. And then if I need them on the orb run or something, um, we can make some more. So I'm just going to yell a bit. And I'll see if <clears throat> my yelling can bring out some monsters. All right, well, there's an orb of fire. Um, I'm just going to step back. These old clubs make it really laggy, but there you go. They just destroyed that orb of fire. And again. All right, thank you, Fedas. So yeah, uh, very easy to up five with Fedas. I got an interesting comment. It was from Sergeant Crunch, and it was on the last video, and he was saying that he wasn't really finding Fedas to be that amazing of a god. And I'll, I'll probably reply to you directly. Um, I haven't yet. But uh, the thing about Fedas is uh, it might not be amazing, but Fedas is just really, really, really consistent. So you get given all the tools you need to win, and you get them every time, and it's always the same. So you're going to get mushrooms to take you through the early hard parts of the game when you're still a weak character um, you sort of fall the mushrooms fall off a bit around the sort of third rune stage but at that point uh, it doesn't really matter because you're strong and then you get your oclobs for emergency situations and then also to do your zot like this and that's kind of all you need it doesn't have to be too flashy and amazing because the job will get done. Um, if I fly into that, I can get a throwing net. Sweet. Um, I didn't have any. <clears throat> That's quite a loud plane. Okay, so my yelling doesn't seem to be bringing anything else. This is where we're going to use the scroll of noise that the game said was useless. So there you go. We make a really loud noise. Um, it's alerted some monsters. Now it's gonna, oh, well, that's gonna be an orb of fire. Yep, good. Uh, so that's gonna pull stuff to me. Looks like that's about it. Nope, something else is over there. Um, I guess at this point we'll go more decks. We don't really have uh, that much use for spells anymore because we're gonna be running. Um, and decks will give me a little bit more dodge, maybe. I didn't actually look to see how much it was giving me. Uh, there's an orb of fire. Uh, two of them, in fact. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to read a fog. Like that. I'm going to step back towards my oclobs. And then I'm going to blink. So by restricting my vision like that, I've influenced the direction that I'm going to blink. You can't blink to tiles you can't see. So if I blinked down there, I might have blinked into the chamber, and then that could have been really ugly. Um, so now I'm going to blink, and I should blink, yet yeah, away, like back towards my farm. There's an ancient lich. So, uh, yeah, so we just fought two orbs of fire and an ancient lich at the same time, and barely took any damage. Fed us. Alright, we've got some more guys coming. Check out the other side a bit, maybe. Alright, it doesn't seem to be much in that one. That we got him. No, we didn't. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, as far as dodging goes, uh, I think I'd rather just have the extra HP. Maybe. Uh, so we'll just train some fighting. Alright. Come on, old guardian. Let me introduce you to my plant friends. I really, really get weirded out by the death cops. I wonder when they change that. Because I also feel like a bit like I'm going crazy. Like, I never remember seeing a change about that. But 
I'm sure death cobs used to be neutral. But why would they change that? Why would you make it so that um, all plants are neutral except for um, death cobs? That's really strange. Uh, we've got an orb of fire behind us. Um, well, I can do a few things. I've still got 10 fruit, which is another 5 oclobs, so I could make a few here. But I can also probably, just because it's one, I can just um, orb of destruction it. There we go. Uh, we have full RF, so one orb of fire just on its own um, shouldn't kill us. Yeah. Alright, uh, we're going to have all the orb guardians in here. Uh, I could, why not, let's just put another two down, maybe. That's this one. Rather than just having to pull them all back to um, my area, to the other one, you can just fight them here. Right. Uh, I don't really want to yell because all the orb guardians at once will definitely overwhelm uh, just two of them. Good. Although they're still, they're doing a pretty good job still. Yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about. I feel like maybe they could fight all these guys at once. Good. Okay, so that was a Zot Trap. Got lucky. And to do the other side, I'm better off going from here because I'm still closer to my my full-on farm. Good. It's pretty absurd. Our clubs are insane, especially at high piety. Okay, so we've cleared the floor, but. Based on a few things, like the orb of fire that appeared behind me, um, and actually there are quite a few permanent teleport traps, we've seen them. So we don't know if monsters have been teleported all around the level. So I'm going to go Shift X, Control F to forget the floor. I'm just going to auto explore again, just to make sure there are no ancient liches, orbs of fire, anything like that, that have just been uh, spread around the level. Doesn't look like it. Tentacle monstrosity, maybe. That's not a big deal. Is that... what's that? A bloodstained... Oh, plate arm. Okay. For a second there... Oh, well, we got teleport trapped. Fortunately, at this point, it doesn't matter. But uh, that can that can kill you if that happens. Um, Say when we first came on the floor, it was out here somewhere, and we got teleported down here. Anyway, uh, I think we're good to go. So let's uh, come to the orb here. Um, I may as well eat before I go. It's, yeah, okay, so we're engorged. Um, I got plenty of digging, plenty of acid. Uh, I can regen, I guess. And because I've cleared the whole floor, I don't really care if I teleport. Pretty much anywhere I teleport will be closer to the stairs out than I am right here. And I want to go to that one up there. So I'm going to read a teleport. Um, I can drop the noise now, so we have no use for it now. But you saw there was a bit of a use <laughs> for calling monsters into our, our awkward farm. Alright, so I'm going to teleport, and it's about... Eight tile, um, eight turns. The teleport delay. So I'm gonna rest for five, one, two, three, ah, 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 four, ah, 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 five. We'll go six. We'll pick it up. All right. Well, there's a blizzard demon. I like how it spawned on the Zot trap. I wonder if that could affect you. That would be like the most triggering way to get trapped ever. All right. So we wanna go G D zero. Let's go. 
Uh, that's a pound load. Uh, let's see. He is very fast. Okay, so we want to um, call for haste. And then I can just see if I'm able to run. It's kind of like, also with a pan load like this where I have no idea what it has, it's kind of a toss up whether I want to be carrying the stuff of cold or Arga. Arga gives me an extra point of MR so I don't get paralyzed, but uh, the point of RC will be useful if it's a glaciate pan load. So I don't know. I'd probably rather have the RC. Right, we're all the way up to depth 3 already. It's pretty lucky. That's uh, a tormentor. They can't see invis, so I'll invis. Um, and then we can just ignore it. We just walk past him. Right. Chidi is zero. Let's go. Uh, we just. Ugh. This is really annoying, but that's alright. Uh, these are all summons, so they won't come up with me. Um, I'll regen, and then GD0. But I, I took a hatch up, so all that all the optimal hatch checking we did earlier, paying off there. We didn't check this one though, but I'll take it myself. Alright, GD0. Hellhogs. Uh, these guys do a lot of fire, but we have full RF, so that's okay. Alright, leave me alone. Uh, yeah, look, more hatches. That optimal, optimal orb run pathing. <laughs> uh, shout out to Pekek again for forcing me to see the the error in my ways of not checking hatches up. Oh my god, we just auto explored all the way from I think. D12 or 13 to D2. That is nuts. Alright. Uh, we can bring this guy with us. I feel like he maybe wants to be our friend. Uh, I think he's down there. Actually, I won't. I won't kill him though, but we're going to pass the wall through here. Sorry, guy. And again. And again, we should probably pass all right onto the exit. <laughs> Alright, and we may as well use our last fruit. We've got six, so that's three oclobs we can make. How many plants will we create? Three. Oh, that's a tormentor. Let's go invis. Uh, we could just leave, but we're, we're busy making oclobs. It's kind of rude of you. And we've got a. No scrolls of summoning. Alright, so that's it. Let's leave. Alright, we escaped. Hooray. So, there you go. There's your Deep Elf Wizard. The Deep Elf Wizard of Fedas. Um, demonstrating that Fedas can help you win with any character. Doesn't matter what you are. And if you're a mage, you don't have to be Sith or um, Vahuman. You can be other things too. And they work just as well. Also, you don't need to have level 9 spells, so we never had Firestorm, we never had Glaciate, we never had Tornado, and actually, I'd say, um, I can't look at it now, because I, um, I can't see my Morgue, but um, I would guess that by far, the kill spell I used the most was um, Throw Icicle, which is just a level 4 cold spell, so, yeah. Don't think about your defenses, your fighting. Uh, we ended up in heavier armor and with a lot of AC, which you'd never be able to do if you were buying into the I really just need to get Firestorm kind of thinking. But anyway, we got there. Um, just a, another thing to note, quietly won my last four games in a row. So it looks like we're streaking again. Um, yeah, so we'll be going for five, which is exciting. Um, I've got another one in mind. It's another request. So hopefully I'll see you back for that one. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. And we got a, that's a victory. That's a victory plane celebration. They're just 
flying some fighter jets over my house in celebration of this win. Anyway, I'm Ultraviolet4. I uh, hope you had fun. I'll see you later.